You're going to crash the car into the plane like Liam Neeson in Taken 3? He did that in Taken 3, huh? Uh, you missed it. <laughs> Thanks, baby. You know, it's a good thing when a movie makes me want to do something that I haven't done in a while. What am I talking about? Well, let's find out. My name is Brennan Keith Avery, and this is just my opinion. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Thank you so much for tuning in to my opinion slash review for game night. I really do appreciate it. But before we get into the review, help your boy out by clicking that subscribe button. Also, click the little bell so you can be notified when I make uploads and give me that thumbs up. Let's see if we can get this video to 100 likes. So now we have game night and this is a movie that I was somewhat looking forward to. Um, it has two directors by the name of John Francis Daly and Jonathan Goldstein or Goldstein. If you haven't heard of them before those are the two gentlemen that directed the vacation uh, reboot or reimagining that came out in two 2015 i really did love the vacation movies back in the day i really was not a fan of this vacation reboot that came out in 2015 so going into this movie you know i was a little skeptical but at the same time it looked like a lot of fun it does star jason bateman and also rachel mcadams and a few other actors which i'll talk about later and um, i like them for the most part they're pretty funny to me in all the movies that they've uh, been in in the past. I'm not saying that I'm a diehard fan of theirs, uh, but, you know, they do put out good material for the most part. And in the intro of my video, I stated that it's really, you know, good or funny if a movie can make me do something that I haven't done in a long time. And that is actually have a game night uh, with, you know, family and friends. Like, I think I may hit up some friends or some family of mine and be like, hey, y'all, you know, what's up? Let's put a game night together. We can do, we can, you know, have this board game, this board game, play charades or, you know, whatever, dominoes, cards, spades, speed, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I just want to have a game night after watching, uh, after watching this movie. And that just goes to show how great the movie is. Uh, um, you know, it's you have three couples that are in this game. Now, two are married, and one of them is uh, they're they're not necessarily a couple. This one main guy that comes back all the time, and every time he has a game night, he brings a different date. And one of the funnier things in the movie is is that his dates are always dumb, but the last date he brings, she's actually smarter than he is. And so that was kind of like a humbling experience for his character, and also just a nice contrast of how he was bouncing off the other couples that were married, with that being uh, Jason. Bateman and Rachel McAdams being married and also someone else Lamont Morris and Kyle Bunbury uh, they were another married couple in this movie and um, you know they like I, I really liked the film just because it was funny um, I, I laughed I didn't laugh out loud but there was some jokes throughout the movie that you know did have me chuckle a couple of times I also like what they did with the story of having three distinct couples you know you had your main family or a couple with like I said Rachel McAdams and Jason Bateman and then you had this other black couple over here with Lamont Morris and Kyle Bunbury and also the um, the other couple where it was the guy bringing his different dates. And I liked all of them in the group, but I also liked what they was doing individually when the couples were separated. Um, it was a great group dynamic and everybody else had their own thing that was going on. That was kind of like a subplot or a sub story that had to do with character development, which also kind of helped cater to the main plot of the film. And you've seen it in the trailers that, um, you know, they're having a regular game night. But, you know, somebody kind of wants to throw a wrench in the game and make things a little more interesting. Like, hey, you don't know what's real and what's fake, um, you know, and somebody comes and really kidnaps somebody and they're just trying to decipher like, oh, my gosh, what's real and what's fake. And that gag can only last for so long in a movie. And I like the how long that it did last in this film. It didn't last for too long because it would have got corny and just a little bit over the top. So that was perfect there. And uh, for the most part, everybody was using the brains, um, you know, thinking logically and with a lot of sense. There were a few instances where I was just saying, OK, I think this character here could be doing a little bit more. Um, but for the most part, I really did have a good time with this movie and there's nothing, you know, much more to say about it other than that because I don't want to ruin it for you. And this also, I'll go ahead and notice there, the guy that played, uh, there's a gentleman named Jesse Plemons or Jess, Jesse Plemons. Uh, he is a cop or a security guard. 
Uh, he's a very weird character. He also starred in Breaking Bad, if you watched that series that came out a number of years ago. One of the best uh, television series of all time, in my opinion. He did a funny job as well. Um, if it wasn't for his little comedic chops and involvement, the movie probably wouldn't have been as good. But I really did enjoy the film. I thought it was great. It wasn't the best thing in the world. But after watching it, I do want to have a game night myself. If I had to rate game night out of a 1 out of 10, I would easily give this a 7 out of 10. Yes, a 7 out of 10. But guys, that's just my opinion. Have you seen Game Night or do you want to see it? Have I turned you on? Have I turned you off? Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me the thumbs up. And if you don't, that's fine. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Go to my website, check me out there, bookmark it, and also look me up on social media. Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. It's right there at the bottom of your screen. And I made it very easy by providing a link to all that good stuff down in the description box below and it will really help me out guys specifically if you like my official facebook page but guys i just want to thank you again for tuning in to my opinion slash review for game night starring rachel mcadams and jason bateman and before you go don't forget that my name is brandon keith avery and that's just my opinion peace <laughs>